how do you control your body if you don't even know that you're something bigger than the body there's a separation between you and the body there is something that controls the body what is up quasi here and I'm in beautiful Boston right now and unfortunately it's raining a little bit but what I want to talk to you today about is the principle of presence and being present to the moment and why being present to the moment is actually an incorrect term. A lot of us misunderstand and myself included about what being present to the moment really is. See, years and years of evolution has helped us be introspective to the point where we can learn from our past and also predict our futures. So this is basically an evolutionary mechanism which has helped us just survive throughout these years. But what the problem is, is we are trying to overdo it. So a lot of us just overdo it and it's mostly a genetic thing. It gets to a point where you just overthink your past and overthink your future and stress about it. And that's why a lot of the spiritual gurus like Eckhart Tolle, they preach being present to the moment. But why being present to the moment is incorrect is because you can think about the past all you want, you can think about the future all you want, but once you open your eyes, there is only the present moment and you're stuck here. So you can't really be anything but present. You don't really have a choice unless you're some black magic person who can just travel time, but that's not me. What I want to talk to you about today instead of the principle of presence and clarify what that means is the principle of awareness. Now when we talk about being present to the moment, what we're actually talking about is being aware of the present moment and being aware of everything that's going on in life. So let's think about it this way. If you're trying to control an aspect of your life, or let's say you're trying to uh, change something about your room. If you're not aware of the thing that you're about to change, let's say a lamp is bothering you, but you can't really tell what it is that's bothering you. If you're not even aware of that lamp that's in the corner that just looks out of place because you're not observing your surroundings, you're not aware of your surroundings, how do you know what to change? And in that way, being aware of literally every single aspect of life is going to massively change your life. See, a lot of us are going in zombie mode where we just do our daily tasks, our routines, go about it unconsciously, have no consciousness in our life. And what happens is we get stuck into these routines and we can't experience more of life because we're not living our lives consciously. So what I ask you to do instead from now on is become extremely aware, acutely aware of everything that you're doing. What we want to do is get to a point where we are so aware of life that when we enter a room, we're experiencing it fully. We're experiencing every single aspect of that life fully. Now, it starts with the senses, but experience is a different sense. Being able to spiritually experience something is a much greater and more powerful sense than just touching, than seeing, hearing, breathing, smelling, and that's what we want to get to. So awareness is one of the most powerful aspects spiritually. And it's, I think, the most key principle in spirituality, being aware. That's why we do a lot of mindful meditation. We do uh, breathing exercises where we're aware of our breath and meditation. And that's so important because once you get a feeling and develop the muscle of awareness, you'll see that your life starts to change before your eyes. You'll start to notice new things you've never noticed before and basically you start to get more control of your life because you're bringing more and more consciousness into it. So awareness and consciousness go hand in hand. What we want to do is not be present but rather be aware and be conscious because consciousness is the foundation of all of life and consciousness is the irreducible stratum of all that exists. So if you want to bring awareness into your life, there's a lot of things you could do, but in a few minutes, I'm going to share with you the best thing that I've found and the thing that I do every single day. And it's not just in meditation, not just the 10 minutes of meditation you're going to do, even though that's powerful. But what's more powerful is if you can maintain awareness throughout your daily life, throughout the rest of the 23 hours and 50 minutes of life that you live, even in sleeping, if that may be the case. So before I share with you the tool that's gonna help you 
bring in more and more awareness into your life. What I want to talk to you about is the importance of having a space between you and yourself. See, a lot of us are trying to manifest the dream life that we want to live and also control our reality. And what that entails is understanding and being aware of your life in the first place. Because how do you expect to control your life if you aren't even aware that it's there in the first place? So what we want to do instead of being present to the moment and just constantly worrying about not thinking about the past and resisting thinking about the future is just be aware of our thoughts. Be aware of our surroundings and be aware of everything, all of life, everything that's going on around us. And also, more importantly, what we want to do and what the most powerful step in controlling our lives is, is having that space between you and your thoughts. You'll see that once you sit down in meditation and start to merely observe your thoughts and every single thought that goes by without moralizing about it, without judging it, without identifying with it, if you just see the thought as it passes through your mind and just observe it and let it be, you'll see that there is a space between you and your thoughts. So basically, there's going to be a space between your mind and your body because you're not really your body and you're not really your mind. You have a body and you have a mind and it helps you function in this world. So with that in mind, now I'm going to share with you the tool that's going to help you bring in crazy amounts of consciousness and awareness into your life. Now, the tool is basically just simple. It's super simple. And always it's the simplest things that help us the most. So for the next 21 days, what I want you to do is simply be aware of your breath. Whenever you can, just be aware of your breath. If you're on the subway, if you're at work, just breathe normally and be conscious of your breath. A lot of the times we're doing everything unconsciously, like breathing, our heartbeat, everything, our bodily functions, they're all happening unconsciously. And if we just bring in a little bit more awareness to it, you'll see your life will change profoundly. You'll develop this new sense of being able to conceive things before they even come. It's like being able to tell the future. It's a very yogic quality, but you'll see as you start to bring in more and more awareness into your life, other aspects of your life tend to change and you start to gain more and more control over your life. You're no longer reactive to the things that happen to you, but rather you step back because of that space you can maintain between you and yourself. So you being the thoughts that you identify with now and yourself being your higher self, the source from which all life permeates. So anyway, what I want to do is be aware of your breath every single moment as much as you can. Just be aware of your breath in everything that you're doing. And that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped. If you like this kind of content, like, comment and subscribe. I'm also growing a massive Facebook group where I'll be sharing all of these techniques and also be sharing techniques to get you into high vibration energy and maintain that state and manifest beautiful things into your life. So if you want to join, click on the link in the description below and I hope I see you there. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace. The funny little exercise I want everyone to do right now. So do this with me. Just look at your hand. Imagine being your hand, but not knowing that you have a hand. So you are your hand or your consciousness. Everything is in this hand. How do you control this hand if you are the hand? If there is no space between you and your hand, how do you control it? How are you aware that you even have a hand if you are the hand? It's like being yourself and not knowing that you have a body, but being your body. How do you control your body if you don't even know that you're something bigger than the body? There's a separation between you and the body. There is something that controls the body. If you don't even know that you have a mind, if you're not aware of the body, just like that, how do you expect to control your hand if you are the hand and you don't even know that you have a hand? So just remember that you are not your body. You have a body that can be controlled because a lot of the times we identify with our mind and our body. And when we do that, we give up a lot of control 
and a lot of awareness and subsequently a lot of control of our life as a result. So if you were to become extremely acutely aware of everything that goes on in your, in your life, just become acutely aware of life itself, then you gain a much greater control over it. So that's why I challenge you to do that breathing exercise. Just become extremely aware of your breathing for the next 21 days and see how profoundly your life changes.